Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to continue to work on our fluency and we're going to work on the same skills that we've worked on in the previous few lessons. Um, if that's any indication that we're working on these skills over several different lessons, hint, hint, it's something that's pretty important for you guys to be able to master. So that's why we keep reviewing this together. So our learning goal for today says I can rename tens. And our other learning goal is I can find the halfway point on a number line. Again, the halfway point on a number line is super helpful when you are rounding numbers. So we are going to continue to work with a vertical number line today in our concept development lesson. So that's why this is super important. Okay, so let's jump in and get started. So let's review how to rename the tens. I will write how many tens. You will say the value. So for example, if I say six tens equals what? you would tell me the value of six tens is 60. If I were to say 23 tens, you would say the value of 23 tens is 230. Remember the trick that you can just add the zero to the end and that's how many, um, the value of the digits when they're in the tens place, okay? So just remember that trick and you'll be able to do this with even larger numbers, okay? So let's jump in and get started. So if I have four tens, the value is 40, absolutely. Start off with a little bit of an easier one for you. Okay, so 20 tens, Ooh, I'm up in the, the difficulty level right away here, friends. <laughs> okay, so if I have 20 tens, what's the value of 20 tens? Yeah, just 200, remember? Slide that zero in at the end and you got it. 34 tens, what's the value? 340, awesome. What's the value of 29 tens? 290, great job friends. All right, 76 tens, this is our last one. What's the value of 76 tens? 760, great job friends. All right, so let's work on the halfway point on a number line. So we'll review this. So we're going to find the halfway point on the number line. I'm going to share the vertical number line with the two endpoints already given to you, and you will determine the halfway point between those two endpoints. Okay, so the first one is 20 and 30. So we'll start off one that's a little bit more simple, and then we'll get more challenging as we go on. So you can always draw, remember, your 10 in between because we're having those intervals uh, from 20 to 30 is 10 in between. So that's where those 10 um, tick marks come from on your vertical number line. So halfway between means I want four on the bottom, four on the top, and that five is right there in the middle. So that 25. All right, so here's your next one between, ooh, oh my goodness. I'm telling you friends, I only gave you one chance to have an easier one and now I'm super jump into the difficulty level here, okay? But remember, when you have a three-digit number like this, you can cover up the hundreds place and just focus on those the, the numbers that are left for the tens place like that, okay? So remember that. So we'll do our 10 in between. What's the halfway point on this number line, friends? 645. Remember, you want four tick marks, one, two, three, four on the bottom, and one, two, three, four on the top. That's how you know that this right here is the center or the halfway or midpoint on a number line. All right, here's your next one, 190 and 200. Okay, so you can always go in and draw these guys just like this. Okay, what is the halfway point on this number line? Hmm. Yep, 195, okay. Let's take a look at another one. So we have 970 and 980. So if I went 970, 971, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Okay, so 970 and 980. Remember, four on the top, four on the bottom. You want that middle, that's gonna be your halfway or midpoint. And what is it, friends? Yeah, 975, awesome. All right, let's look at another one. All right, here's our last one. You ready, friends? 
Okay, 300 and 310. What is the halfway or midpoint between those two numbers? Remember, go all the way up. Four on the top, four on the bottom. Find that middle one. And it is 305. Awesome job with that, friends. Nailed it. Great job, friends, working on your fluency practice with renaming the tens, with finding the value, and being able to find the halfway or midpoint between two numbers. So you guys did an awesome job with that. Feel free to watch this video again if you want more practice. Uh, please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.